Let your people hear your voice today. You say that your sheep know your voice. And the voice of a stranger they will not follow. And so we thank you for an opportunity to serve. May you be pleased with our service today. May you be pleased with our worship today, oh God. May you stir hearts today. Thank you for the food. Hallelujah. Thank you for Bay Area Rescue Mission standing in the gap. God, we thank you for soldiers coming for one cause. <laughs> to lift up Christ the King and give him glory. Oh, Father, we thank you today. We thank you for the work that's been happening here. That you raised up a work that your name will be proclaimed amongst your people right here. And so we honor that work. We honor their obedience, God. Oh, hallelujah. We thank God for Brother Karen and hallelujah. Brother Santino and all that's connected to them. To say right here, we're going to plant a flag for the king. We're going to seize territory right here in love for the king. Oh, Lord, we thank you. We thank you today. Oh, what a blessing. What a blessing it is to be able to be in the midst of God's children. The one that he came for. The God who sits high is still looking low. He's still looking low. He said, I will not leave you nor forsake you. Oh, he'll come right where we are in the midst of our hurt and our pain. He will show up. Oh, bless his name. Brother Kevin, once you get set up, man, I want you to come and kick us off, man, and we'll go ahead and run and see what the Lord has on his mind today. Oh, we bless you. There's nothing we want more. I used to want a whole lot of other stuff. You should have that. I can't live without that. And I know I need a little bit of that. But Lord, I thank you. I found out that everything I need is found in you. Everything that I need is found in you. And as long as we have you, we are fully supplied. Oh, hallelujah. We don't look at the world to find our identity. We don't look at the world to find out what's missing. We look to you and find out that everything we need is in you. Oh, Lord Jesus, glorify yourself today. For you said if you be lifted up, you would draw all men. And so today, let that be the case, oh God, that as we lift you up high above every circumstance, high above the difficulties that your people are facing, high above the past that everybody is coming out of and running away from. But Father, let us not just remember our past, but let us find out something about our present that right now that you are an ever-present help in the time of our trouble, God. You're standing with us in the midst of it all, and so we thank you today. Would you lead us in worship? <laughs> Would you lead us in worship today, O oh Lord? Would you lead us in worship today? That we might hear the sound of joy. I just want to thank Pastor Larry Austin for coming out today. He's a busy man, running around and working for the Lord day and night. You know, the foxes have holes, I was sharing with them, and the birds have nests, but the Son of Man had no place to lay his head. And so he was constantly about the Father's business. He was constantly about the Father's work. He never stopped. He labored all those three years all the way to the cross. He humbled himself for us. Earlier I was sharing that uh, when we love, we love in deed and in truth. And so what we do is we come here, we want to bring you a meal. We want to we want to open up. We want to satisfy uh, something that you need, fleshly needs, and to show you that we care and to, see, to, to, to feed your belly. But it is to usher in the truth. We want to open up your hearts and show you that we care about you by the deeds that we do. But we also want to have to bring in the truth or that's not true love. Biblical love brings the deed and the truth. Because there's a thousand charities out there. There's a thousand other people out there that want to do something and want to give you something. But if they don't have the truth, it's not true biblical love. And biblical love is sacrificing ourselves for the benefit of others. And so we're willing to sacrifice our time, sacrifice our work, sacrifice the life that we have for the benefit of you. And that's exactly what Jesus Christ did. He came and he sacrificed himself for the benefit of our salvation, the benefit of our forgiveness. For the benefits of us for to have eternal life. So we want to thank him today for that, Father. We want to we want to 
do the same as him. We want to we want to follow our God in the same footsteps. So I'm going to share out of Hebrews 13 and he says, "Therefore Jesus also that he might sanctify that set apart the people through his own blood suffered outside the gate. So let us go to him outside the camp bearing his reproach. For here we do not have a lasting city, but we are seeking the one to come. Through him then, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of lips that confess his name. And do not neglect doing good and sharing, for with such sacrifices, God is pleased. And you see that same thing. He says, with the fruit of our lips, we give you the truth. We're loving you in, uh, in word and in deed, he says, for sharing and doing good. So we want to share and do good by you, but we also want to bring you the truth. So we want to lift out Pastor Larry today. We want to thank him for, for sacrificing himself for the benefit of us, for coming and, and, and in the heart of Jesus Christ saying, I want to reach out and I want to tell you the truth. I want to share my talent, my gift, and I also want to bring you the word of God. So let's lift up Larry today, Father. We'll lift up his word and lift up this time that we have together. So Father, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for going outside the gate for us. You didn't die in the temple. You died on a hill, on a cross, in Calvary, outside the camp. You went outside the camp for us. So we want to go outside the camp for you. We want to seek and save the lost. We want to go out after the one. So, Father, help us today, Father. Even if one life is changed, even if one heart is open, Father, we will thank you for that today, Father, because it is worth it. Because he says, those who love you keep his commandments. And so today we want to keep your commandments. We want to go outside the camp. We want to do the work of the evangelists. We want to preach the gospel. We want to bring healing to the broken. So, Father, we thank you today. We lift up Larry. We lift up his word today. We lift up his talent. We're going to leave it all to you. We thank you today, Father. We thank you for all the volunteers here, everybody who came to share the love of Christ. And like I was saying earlier, this is not just about reach and outreach, but this is about fellowshipping outside the gate. Coming together as believers, together, and doing the work that we've been called to do. He says, they will know us by our love, and nobody's going to know us by our love inside the walls. We've got to go outside and let them see us love one another. So, Father, we thank you for that this morning, Lord, and we pray that that is exemplified and seen and that you are lifted up and magnified today. We ask this in your son's name. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, my brother. Oh, what a blessing to um, stand in the presence of what the Lord is doing. Uh, many people look for things that look prestigious, things that look like it's reputable. But Jesus didn't go. He didn't, When he went to the temple, he had a lot of problems at the temple. There's nothing wrong with going to church. There's nothing wrong with the building. That's part of God's movement. But there is something about the will of God that is about seeking to save those who are lost. And as our brother prayed in the scripture, talked about going outside of the camp. How many know that Jesus came looking for you when you was running away from him? A hundred miles an hour trying to get away as fast as you could. But he tracked us down. And that's what he's now doing to us. Causing us to get caught up in what he's doing. What his heart is so that we might be his real hands and feet that as he wants to seek sons and daughters our brothers and sisters that he would use our lives and our time and so I'm thankful to God for the work that's going on here um, even before I get started the reason how I'm connected I knew brother came for a while um, and we knew each other and hadn't connected in a while he was doing ministry I was doing ministry but I was in the store I was at a Safeway in Pinot I believe there was Safeway. It was one of them stores, but I'm walking down one of the aisles getting some stuff, and this brother came up ministering to me, handing me a track, like preaching the gospel to me. And I'm like, brother, I love it, man. I'm on the same page. And so he hooked up with me, came out and hit the streets in Oakland with me, and came to our fellowship on Sunday. And to watch God continue to do what he was already doing in his heart, linking him with another solid brother, and now you see a work resurrected for the king. How many know that heaven is grateful? Heaven is smiling down on the works that happen when we go in Jesus' name to the places, listen, nobody else want to go to. And I'm not talking about go to, as you said, brother, people to come and give food, people to come and give clothes, but how many people come in to give the gospel? <laughs> That's the real good news, the food gonna run out. <laughs> the clothes gonna get old one day. But I'm telling you, the gospel will remain. The gospel is a foundation. And I found out that he's everything that we need. God, we thank you today. 
Would you use our time in this music to stir a flame in the hearts of your people that they would be ready to hear a word from you that might sink deep down on the inside. I hand it to you even now, Father. We'll start here, we'll ease our way in. How many of y'all know it's a cold world we living in? This world will turn its back on you real quick. Won't care what you're going through, how you feel about it. But we got a God that sticks closer than a brother. He holds on with everybody else, let's go. And so today, God, let your, your ministry go forward. Use the music to build your people. It's a cold world. So grateful for God's work. I got to a season in my journey where I was like, man, I'm too old to still be rapping. I'm going to let the youngsters have it. And I just was focusing on preaching. And God called me back to the ministry. And I've done my greatest work now because I ain't trying to be somebody. I ain't trying to get signed. I ain't trying to get a deal. I've been already booked. Hallelujah. The Lord didn't book my time. And I'm running for the king. And I've been having the time of my life. It's a cold world. That's right. Uh-huh. That's right. That we live in. Uh-huh. That's right. That we live in. Oh, this world is cold. Let it turn its back on you real quick. That's right. But we got a God whose love warms our hearts. That's right. Uh-huh. That's right. That we live in. Uh-huh. That we live in. Cold, cold world. He said in the last days, the love of many will wax cold. Hey, check it out. What? Hey, I said it's colder than the polar bear. So we over there. Where the hurt be? Cause the love of Christ is really rare. Let me clear the air, baby. This is good news. Some of that real talk hip, something that you could use. Make a put snooze when your alarm went off. Hey, we been sent to wake you up, so family, let's talk. Now they thought, yep, that COVID was a pandemic, but it was a pandemic cause I seen God's hand in it. I seen him stand in it, so we ran past man's limits. He threw me in the trenches, tearing down sins, fences. So relentless, we push through the issues. Tears and tissues, I just want to be used. Short fuse, we in the ticket time bar. But it's in the hands of God, sin won't last long. Sad song folks sing on the daily. The world is going crazy, everybody yelling, pay me. They should be yelling, save me. Jesus, please raise me. This ain't the way you made me. Take this heart, you gave me a change me. Take this heart, you gave me a change me. It's a cold world. Oh God, will we need your love to warm our hearts so that we might fall in love with you. And if we fall in love with you, we'll begin to love our brothers and our sisters. He said, how can you love me who you never seen? But you don't show love to the people you see on a daily basis. And so God, we want to practice what you did. You came looking for the outsiders. That's right, that we live in. Cold, cold world. Oh, we need your warmth, God. Check it out, let me talk to you, this why it's a problem. Hey, we got crooked politicians, not really rapping for the people. They make an evil legal, hope you know the Lord see you. We see through, yep, me too, cause we do what we want to. Love our neighbors as ourselves, that's really something that we don't do. Though we close to, it's close to the end, that's what I tell you. So I'm on my grind, trying to deem the time of past failure. Been sent to compel you, though my work may seem foolish. Plus I go through it when Jesus did it, so we do it. My spiritual eyes lose it, can clearly see the future. Jesus coming back, more Motivating my maneuvers. It's truth in the room of Christ the King. He's a ruler. He scooped me like an Uber. Got your boy feeling super. He snatched me out the stupid. Wouldn't let me go out like a loser. On the block like a two of the razor trays. I'm a shooter. Don't let the devil use you to take your life back. The real empire is the kingdom. We gon' strike back. Hey, we fight back. It's like that. We trying to get you on the right track. Better grab yourself some oil and get your life back for the sky crack. That's right. And get your life back for the sky crack. Oh, he said he's going to come when nobody's expecting him. <laughs> oh, hallelujah, that he's going to come with a shout. <laughs> and the Lord himself shall appear. Oh, we're trying to get souls and hearts ready to meet him. That's what it's all about. Our cold world. But, Father, we thank you that your love will be present in the midst of a cold world. That you might warm our hearts and give us new affections. And let us know that you ain't forgot about us. Cold, cold world. Oh, it's a cold world, but we got a God who stands with his people, said he'll never leave us nor forsake us, that in the midst of challenges, he'll come and see you right where you at. I found out that I didn't always have to run to him, that he was willing to run to me. Hallelujah. That's the God that we serve. But he said he came down to seek and to save. 
that which is lost. Oh, Father, we bless your name today. We bless you because you are the keeper of your people. We've all been through challenges and difficult circumstances, but when we think about how we've made it, it's because of you. And so I am thankful for God's salvation. How many people are thankful for the work that a God won't give up on us? God won't give up on us, brother. That's right. He won't give up on us. We fall down, but he picks us up. And so I want to thank God for his work. This song simply says, thank you for the work that Christ did. I know when we get saved, we are called to begin to work. There's works we've been preordained to walk in, but we're not saved by our work. We're saved that we might do some work. Bless your soldier. That the blood here, my sin became his. Thank God. Oh, thank God. Thank God for all the work that the son did. I get praise for all my sins that the blood here. My sins became his. Now I'm all in. Thank God. Oh, let me talk to you for a minute. Hey, well, I've been waiting, meditating on the good part. Houdini on the Lord gave me a new heart. New start, got my mood washed. The true boss is on my side, made humble, but still drip sauce. No flaws, cause his cross got your boy off. And I ain't trying to just talk, stay in deep thought. Cause he bought all the time I got on the clock. He's the real rock, the one that they can't stop. So don't be shocked if you get shocked. Christ built us from the enemy, yeah, he got knocked. Hey, he got dropped, we found out he's not. Yeah, who we thought, but glad Jesus fought. Was so distraught when the NFL came, didn't call my name. He said, boy, the whole host to heaven, know your name. So stay in your lane, proclaim my name. Thank God for all the work that the son did. I get praise for all my sins that the blood here. My sin became his. Oh, I'm glad that you came and took all my sins away. For what can wash us whiter than snow? <laughs> Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. I get praise for all my sins that the blood here. My sin became his. And his righteousness became mine. Oh, God, we thank you today. I'm thankful for the truth of the gospel. Because it's not just our work for him, but it's his work for us. What was his work for us? He lived a perfect life and he died in sinner's death that you and I who should be rejected might be accepted and we give him praise. I'm so thankful today. Get ready to close this one out. It's just a song of gratitude. It's an attitude of gratitude because of what he's done. Check it out. Hey, lose your thoughts, lost like a goose stuck in the snow. Didn't know Jesus gonna pull up on me like bro man from the fifth flow. Before I knew it, he had already slid through the window. Became the temple place of worship for the sin foe. That's right, the place where sinners meet God at. I grabbed my hard hat for the one who said charge that. To my account, he about everything he say. We took the long way, learned to praise in the hallway. And one day, he's coming back for a church. Without spot of blemish, I'm glad the blood still works. Cause I work can't do it, we ain't got enough And you can work the whole life but never earn enough The devil tried to huff and puff, he tried to blow me down But Jesus overcame him at the cross, what you say now? We on the block feeling like MJ on the playground That's right, dirty devil, you better say now Oh, he gave us power over the enemy <laughs> Now we can tread up on serpents And tread up over the scorpions that come to stop us We got power over all the power of the enemy and so God, we thank you. Thank God for all the work that the Son did. I get praise for all my sins that the blood did. My sin became his. We've been bought with a price. The precious blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank God for all the work that the Son did. I get praise for all my sins that the blood did. Check it out. My sin became his. The Bible says that he took our sin away all of the sin that should be on my record it has been wiped out hallelujah the bible says he has cast all of our sins into the sea of forgetfulness do you hear that the god who can't forget nothing who knows everything <laughs> has decided to look at our years and times of rebellion and said, I'll forget about it. Why is he going to say forget about it? Not just because he's nice, but because he's satisfied. 
be satisfied with the work that Christ has done. Christ has earned a place so that all of our sins would be forgiven and that there would be a righteousness extended to us. And this is why we preach the gospel, because there's hope. No matter how bad or how far off you might be, there's still hope at the cross because of what God has done for us in Christ. And so I'm grateful today because I know that my life in this season is simply a witness of the goodness of God. I didn't want him. I didn't want him for him. I wanted him to do something for me. I wanted to go play pro football. That was what I was trying to do with my life and time. And right in the midst of chasing that dream, God got on my line and got real. My grandmama Jesus, hallelujah, showed up and said, now I'm your Jesus. And I wanted to try to make him obey my plan, but he said, I didn't come to follow you. I'm calling you to come and follow me. And it's a beautiful thing because what felt like a loss in the beginning, now when I think about it, man, I didn't won. I didn't hit the jackpot. Because listen, my football career would have been over. I was coming out of football uh, college in 1995, trying to do my thing. And that was like 27 years ago. March 21st, 1995, I got saved. And God was saying, listen, it's going to take me a while so that you can get out there and become what I want you to become. But if you wait on me, I got something that's going to be greater than the football career you thought you was going to get. I'm going to sing. Now listen to this. The attitude I take is that I'm still balling. <laughs> I'm still on the corner for the king. I used to be a cornerback playing defensive back on the corner saying, I got my man. I'm going to hold my man down. He ain't getting nothing today. God said, I like that energy. Bring that over here. Now get on the corner for me and hold that down. And don't let the devil get no territory and so we give God praise today for how he's able to redeem our purpose amen he redeems our purpose I got some praise that I can't hold back man let's go here right quick we're gonna bless the Lord uh, that's right David said, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise will continually be in my mouth. And God, we thank you today because you are worthy to be praised, to bless things to speak well of. Your circumstances might not be good, but God is still good. All right. You bless the Lord at all times. May his praise stay in my mouth. Hey, when I was down and now, he brought me out. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Hey, come on and bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, and all that's within me. Come on and bless the Lord. Yep, yeah. oh, my soul, and I'ma go wherever he sent me. Come on and bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, and all that's within me. Come on and bless the Lord. Yep, yeah. oh, my soul. Check it out. Hey. You get the best. The context of the text, truth and praise over stress. I confess I got some issues that need to be dealt with. Some circumstances, your boy needs some help. What I felt it. But my financial life hit the bottom. Trials and tribulations, man. Everybody got them. Watch him. That's what the Spirit said to me. Eyes on Jesus, cause can't nobody do me like he do me. Praise flows to me. Fifth is not a duty, man. I worship in the beauty of holiness. Hey, holiness. I'm giving thanks to the King, yeah, cause he's the one it's over, yes, not by power. It's not by power. It's only by our spirit. That's why we need him every hour. Strong tower. We all need his protection. He be the blessing, just run in his direction. Christ's the only connection between man's sin and God's grace. The only way we go to overcome the struggles that we all face. Bless the Lord. Oh, times may us praise. Oh God, we give you praise today. Somebody shout hallelujah to the king. Oh, bless your name. I said, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that's within me. I said, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And I'm going to go wherever he sent me. I thank God because he's willing to travel where nobody else wants to go. Because he said, these are my people. These are my sheep. He'll come see about us. Too many dangers, torture the snares. We debated too man, cause the Lord, he's been there. Cast all your cares, yep, on he who cares for us. When me and my family was going through, he did not ignore us and assured us that his presence would never leave us, that he would guide and lead us. That's all because of Jesus, believe us. Hey, a saint is still a sinner who falls down, but he gets back up with the blood, makes us winners, defend us. Uh, the hurt and the press, tell him where we come and rest. It's nothing but a test, we confess. Hey, that sin thing is lethal, but he came to save his people. He gon' meet us in the sequel Free throw with no time on the clock Jesus hit the shots, hit 
the boy to the block that we can't stop. Cause this world can't afford to live and die without hearing about the grace of the Lord. Come on and bless the Lord. All signs may us praise. Even when your troubles is happening in your life, keep giving God praise. Cause he's still on your side. Hey, come on and bless the Lord. Oh, I saw it all. That's within me. Come on and bless the Lord. And I'm going to go wherever he got a made up mind that you're going to go wherever the Lord tells you to go. That you're going to do whatever the Lord tells you to do. Hallelujah. It's not about talking faith. It's about walking faith. Remember what he did with Abraham at the final test. God had promised him a seed that would be greater than the sand, greater than the stars. And then he told him to take that very thing he had been waiting on his whole journey. Take that up and offer it up to me. I want to test to see what you love most. He took him up there on his way up the hill. He said, where's the lamb? Where's the offering? And Abraham said to his son, the Lord will provide for himself. And in faith, and I'm sure it had to be some nervousness in his heart. It had to be some worry. How can God promise this to me and then take it from me? But he said, I'm still going to obey the Lord. He took the knife and got ready to slay his son. And the angel said, stay your hand, Abraham. Stay your hand. And then God spoke. God said, for now I know that you fear me. God said, listen to this. God, he don't figure stuff out. He don't learn stuff. He already know everything. But he wasn't on trial to see what he knew. He was on putting Abraham on trial to see what Abraham was going to do. And he says, for now I know that you fear me. And this is what he said. In blessing, surely I'm about to bless you. <laughs> You think you ain't, you ain't even imagine the blessings I'm going to give a heart that has surrendered itself fully to me. Because what God says, I'm looking for sons and daughters. I'm looking for sons and daughters who hear my voice and follow my instructions. Just like any good parent, you want your kids to obey you because you know what's best for them. And that's what the father is saying. I know what's best for you. For I know the plans and the thoughts that I have towards you. And they're not plans to bring you down. But they're actually plans to bring you up into the purpose for what you were created for. Do you know, how many of y'all know that you got a purpose that predates you? That God had a plan before you and I got here. He already had days ordered out. He had steps measured out. He had places for us to go. People to cross paths with already set. And it's about us walking in the will of God. And so I thank God today for a heartbeat that has been brought to a surrender. I didn't surrender on my own. But it was God's call, and in God's movement, he began to put me through tests like he does every believer to bring us to the place that we will become what he wants us to become. This song says, we're like diamonds. And a diamond is just a black rock if you find it out in this regular state until somebody picks it up and takes it through a process to become what it always already is, but you just can't see it because it's covered up in some stuff. So we like diamonds, man. Let me talk to you for a minute. Process for pain of purpose lies way beneath the surface, trapped in the current, trying to interpret. Hey, what's the next step? Faith the best kept secret. He guides us through the darkness. That's how God leads us. Y'all seen Jesus learn obedience by suffering. He went through the process, trusting God, loving neighbors and enemies, not counting people's penalties, but complaining about his injuries. And this is the mystery of the power of the spirit in the human heart. New foundation to stand on. Remember that verse one where our been towards justice. And yet God got the fight. I'm saying that space substance for years in reluctance before I truly let go. Let God have his way so I can do what I was here for. That's right, hey, to do what I was here for. That's right, hey, to do what I was here for. Big time and here reward your grinding. Christ is the light that shine and keep climbing, hey. Cause we like diamonds flowing through the pressure, through the pressure, hey. I see a new day coming, so don't stop running through this process. Yes, we are becoming. More like diamonds shining. Check it out. Have you keep walking in the midst of a lot of things? Let go of smaller dreams to walk in the father's dreams. Made the schemes, lots of drama, had to pass the test. I had to learn how to wrestle the midst of life's stress. We're trying to flex, you've been blessed. That's my testimony. With the word hitting my heart, feel like I got a weapon on me. Resting only in the promise of the risen king. The unveiled, the hidden things. Hold on, look at us with the victor sing. Quick to bring the good news to the hot spot. We on the block, off top, preaching love rocks. Nugget chop, picture crops, so you can see the truth. We make it plain. Music frame 
Jesus, Peter Ruth. We was in the boot, New Orleans, Alexandria. Down in Louisiana, had a Westboro as an evangelist. And none of the challenges that came my way to stop your hood. We on a mission around the world to bring God's joy. And God's perfect timing. He's going to take you through the process. Sometimes it hurts, but he got his hands on us. Or the Bible said that there was a potter that had some clay. And the clay, the vessel got marred in the master's hand. But it kept working until it became what it was supposed to be. And so today, Father, we thank you that you're still working on us. That even this moment right now where your word is coming forth, where worship is taking place, you are working right now. You are preparing us for a day. We will stand in your presence. What worship will be all that there is. And so, Father, today let us take note. Hey, hey, perfect time and here reward your grinding. Christ is the light that shine and keep climbing. Cause we like diamonds pouring through the pressure, through the pressure. Hey, I see a new day coming, so don't stop running through this process. Yes, we are becoming more like diamonds shining forever. It's a process. God is never in a rush. You remember the old commercial? They said, we'll serve no wine before it's time. God takes his time to build us and remake us and reshape us. I remember getting called to ministry and I wanted to rush because I still had the world in me. Though I was in the church, I still had the, the spirit of the world in me. The spirit of the world is, do you see me? <laughs> You see what I'm doing? Do you see who I am? You can bring that right to the church. But God takes his time because he wants to harness the gifts because none of us are anything without the gifts that God has given us. This gift of rap for me started in the fifth grade poetry class. I wrote my first poem about my grandmama pancakes. Pancakes, golden brown with butter dripping down. That was the whole poem. But it was in that class, fifth grade, that God sparked something on the inside that will become what I'm doing now. But it was already prepared before me. The Bible says we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works. That's something he prepared for us to do before we got here. And this is why surrendering to Christ is key because you can't find out what you're supposed to do until you find out who you really are. <laughs> How many people was trying to be something out there in the world, trying to get somewhere, show people who you were and what you could do, but it took God, listen to this, telling us first, you ain't nobody, but you my son, and I'm going to tell you who you really are. <laughs> he, had to, he had to first hurt us in order to help us. He said, he who humbles himself shall be exalted, and so God takes his time to prepare us for the work that he has prepared for us. What a beautiful thing to take whatever position God has given us and understand that that role, no matter where you are aligned at, that role is a valuable role in God's kingdom. <laughs> There's no hierarchy. There may be different roles. People serve to serve Christ from different positions and places. But every I, I used to play football. So when I rolled up here today and I saw the food getting cooked, I saw people setting up, I saw people walking down there with food down there. I said, look at the Lord. This is like a football team. Everybody in their position playing their role so that the true star, amen, can shine, which is Christ Jesus himself, amen, and that his people will be blessed in the process. And so we give God praise. I'm going to do a couple more songs, and I believe God has something to say to us here. I believe... Um, there is a way in which God works to bring us closer and closer. The song simply says, I'm, I'm feeling good. And my feeling good is not based on my circumstances. But my feeling good right now is based upon my faith. <laughs> I feel good because of what my faith is resting in. It's resting in the God who said he'll never change. It's resting in the God that says every promise in Christ is yes and amen. And so, Father, we thank you today that no matter how it is on the outside, because of your word and your truth, we feel good on the inside. Let me talk to you. Good. And why should I not be with my kings on the throne and he got me? Hey, shot me with his love arrow. Woo. Reach down to my bone arrow. Hey, so Darrow, childhood hurts when he can't do. He healed those first. No curse, baby, it's gone. I'ma never be alone, man. I'm on my way home. Hey, so long, I'ma answer that. Yeah, I love the Lord. He held him cold when his back. Sitting back when I think about him. Hey, y'all don't know how hard it was not to doubt him. 
Man, I mean really To say the God of the universe spoke to you really Hey, it's silly in the natural But you can feel it when the truth of the Lord coming at you Hey, and you know what that do When the Lord pull up on you and your struggle say I got you And you really know it's not you I had a taste of his grace while y'all was taking taste too Better yet taste free I got the Father and the Son and the Spirit living in me By the blood they sin free Came to get me, now I got liberty You feeling me? Feel good. Are you feeling good? Let's lift that hand in the air to the Lord. Lord, thank you that our faith has found something to rest in. Our faith has found something to lead on. You've been holding us up. And God, we feel good. I'm feeling good. That's right. Because the Lord is on the throne. And he got the final say. Hey, I'm feeling good. Yes, sir. I don't care what's it's raining on the outside. But the sun is shining on the inside. Hey. For every single problem, there's only one option but the trust in the Lord. At times, he got him in his hand. Faith in his plan. Found to the sand when other folks ran. The great I am. That's who he is. Remember, he told Joe, where were you and I did? What I did day and night on the first day. That was on the second day, third day. He created land in the sea. Herb yielded trees, fruit bearing trees. All in the knees, they had to freeze. Jesus walked out, man, he had the keys. He had the keys to sin, death, and the grave. And he said, death, where is your sting? And grave, where is your victory? He overcame on our behalf. He had to show us that the world could be overcome. This world that we seek to find our joy and happiness in. He had to overcome it to show us it's not about this world, worshiping this world, but it's about him. Song of praise. We live in a world full of sin, but we know because of him. We like that truck standing on the fast breath. Why we all in, they can ask us. He been so good, no, we been so bad. He brought my soul back, Jesus brought my glow back. Fully focused, it's just no cap. Snap a picture like a Kodak. Got some crazy that I can't hold back. Hold that cold cat, back on the dope track. But I ain't slanging dope, I'm slanging hope to make your toes sad. Snap back to my reality, every day I see casualties. Before I just morality to understand the sin's fatalities. We all victims of the same curse, dying from the same hurt. Been hurt by the same work, but the same word bought us out, Christ the King. He did it all. We all been ruined by the fall, back against the wall. I got the call, dropped everything, ran to him. Got born again, this man of sin, I started tapping in. I started traveling, block to block, state to state. God is great, just trying to eat the food that's over. My plate. We on that elevate gospel. I read a submission for me to talk about, but a mission to let my life speak. A and C, we can't sleep. It's a cold game, but I ain't tripping because the run on the whole thing. We live in a world full of sin, but we know because of him we get back up. We like that truck standing on the fast, bro. Wanna know why we all live naked? Ask us. He been so good, though he been so bad. He bought my soul back. Jesus bought my glow back. Fully focused, this is no cap. Snap a picture like a code, they got some praise. I can't hold his praise back. He said he inhabits the praises of his people. If he ever feels far away, you gotta just go to praise the God to remember what he's already done. And God's presence will draw near to you. That's right. Don't hold the praise back. I don't know why. Let me talk to you. Let me close it out. I'm on the way, way, coming out the bay. Hey, this your boy PLA, and we can do this all day. If you on the Broadway, yeah, that leads to destruction. That'll mess up your function, but hold up, excuse my presumption. Do you know the Lord yet? Have you tasted of his word? Have you felt the Lord's love yet? He's a subject and predicate. Everything else is irrelevant. He came down heaven sent to make sure we get heaven's settlement. Hey, that's for our betterment. Everything that the Lord does. He who was sin is throwing no drama, but that's all blood. Cause God loves stunts with a passion. He told me to pull up on the block or to drop a rock on him. He keep gassing. He ain't asking. He telling. We yelling. Glory to the king. We got the pot hot in the house smelling. We giving. We ain't selling. It's all yours. For the free when I heard that it have a heart swelling. We live in a world full of sin, but we know because of him we get back up. We like that truck standing on the fast, bruh. Why we all in? They can ask us, cause he been so good, though we been so bad. He bought my soul back, Jesus bought my glow back. Well, they focus, this is no cap. Snap a picture like a code that got some praise. Some praise that I can't hold back. 
He said if we if we try to keep our praise, he said the rocks will cry out in our place. I remember at my grandmama church, they just say, I don't want no rock, hallelujah, to cry out for me. I'm going to cry for myself. But it's in recognizing, listen, the goodness of the Lord. And his goodness is intermingled in the backdrop of our badness, our rebellion, our thinking we are more than we are without him. Yes, we somebody, but we're nobody without him. Remember, Jesus himself said, you can do nothing apart from me, but with him and through him and because of him, we can do all things because he will strengthen us to be able to do the things he's created us to do. When I thought about today's moment of worship, that there would be set up a moment where they regularly meet on Sundays and they had a special gathering that brought the Bay Area Rescue Mission together. And all this is before it's even a message this is a sign of hope. <laughs> this is a sign. You know how many cars drive by this little place right here on their way wherever they headed <laughs> and don't even think about who over there, where they coming from, what they've been through, what is their struggle. The first thing that the Lord does when he comes to us is he reminds us that forget what we about to do. First, I want you to know I see you. I see you. That's a sign of fellowship. <laughs> this is not an event. This is a continuation of the statement that has been made right here when God first sent these brothers and everybody that's with them that says, we see y'all. We ain't passing by y'all no more. We actually coming to y'all so that we can actually give you what we receive freely. And it's the very love of God that we don't deserve. It's the love that doesn't change things overnight. But listen to this. It changes our whole destiny in a flash of revelation that takes successive moments. I kept hearing about the gospel, but one day I heard the gospel. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? I kept hearing about the gospel. I went to church before. I played football in college. When the field goal would get kicked, they put John 3.16 up there. I saw that, but I didn't see that. There was a day that came in my life when God allowed me to see for myself that he was real and that he stopped being just my grandmother's Jesus and he became my Jesus. It gotta get personal. And so I believe the thought process about today was, there is a hope that God gives that begins to heal, listen to this, everything in a moment before it fixes things in time. He fixes things on the outside over time. But the first work of God is to heal the broken heart. The, the wounded heart, the heart that has felt left out, forgotten about, the heart that has been bypassed, the heart that has had opportunities squandered by themselves and opportunities that they were looked over on. And God comes first to communicate his love to those hearts to say to them, I see you. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 3, as God had prepared Moses and sent him into tell Pharaoh what was about to happen next on behalf of his people. He told Moses, he said to Moses, listen, he says, I have heard the cry of my people. He says, I have seen their affliction. And then he says, and I know their suffering. That's a God that's not in the ivory tower somewhere. That's not a God that's on vacation. That's a God who's paying attention. That's a God who says, I'm an ever-present help in the time of your trouble, which means I see the trouble happening, I see you stuck in it, and I'm preparing to make a move in it, but I'm letting you see how real the trouble is first, that you can see that you can't help yourself to get out of the trouble. Because we won't cry out to God until we know that God is our only hope. How many people had to get brought all the way low before you started to look high? God had to let things get as bad as they probably could get for a moment to help you see that you still can't fix it. I know you're trying to do good and all that, but the way it's going to get fixed is first you got to surrender. He said to Moses, I've heard, I've seen, and I know. Now this no was not just information. He knew the information. He saw the schemes and what they were doing to his people. But he said, no, I'm intimately acquainted. It's the same no that Mary talked about when the angel came and said, you're going to bear a child. She said, how can this be, seeing that I don't know a man? But she knew a man information-wise. She about to get engaged. She engaged. She about to get married. But she haven't been intimate yet. God says, I'm not an outsider to your struggle. 
but I'm intimately acquainted with your struggle because he says, because you are my people, your struggle is my struggle. <laughs> That's the God. You know how some people would distance themselves from your problems? They see you going through it and because they don't want to get involved, they'll stay away. The phone calls, you call them and they, they won't pick up. But we got a God who sees our struggle and he actually comes to us to get his hands dirty. To get down into the muck and the mire with us. He's not a God that shies away from his people. He says, Moses, I see, I hear, and I know what they're going through. But then he says something interesting. He says to Moses, he says, I'm about to come down and fix it. But come here, Moses. I'm going to send you. That's, that's a strange statement. God says, I'm about to fix it. But come here, I'm going to send you on my behalf. We are connected to the work of God. We are those who says to God, the rest of our life, use it for your glory. That's what Paul said when he finally saw Jesus for himself. He says, Lord, what would you have me to do? And when you think about the phrase he said, and you look at his life in the Bible, that brother was all in. What we say, he was all gas, no brakes, about the glory of the king, because listen, he saw the truth. He saw that the Jesus he had heard about was real. I pray today that the Jesus you've been hearing about, you see that he's real for yourself today. That you see that he has power over your circumstance. That you see that his love is not just for the whole world, though it is, but his love is specifically for you. He says, I know my sheep. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. What it is to be known by God. When you have a world of people who will forget you, forget your name. But we have a Jesus who said, I even know how many hairs you still got on your head. This is is the Jesus that comes to his people. He loves his people so much that he was willing to give his life for his people. And I want to talk about his life in two ways. First, he gave his life as he lived. His time here in this world was surrendered to God on behalf of his people. Just think about it. If you and I had the power that Jesus had, just think with our earthly minds, we would make ourselves somebody. <laughs> if you could do what you wanted to do, show up where you wanted to show up, and have whatever you wanted to have, we would flip that power around and make the world pay attention to us. But the Bible says concerning Jesus, he humbled himself. Oh, hallelujah. He humbled himself even to the point of death. Why did he humble himself? Well, the Bible says it was for the joy that was set before him. <laughs> What was the joy? You and I getting brought out of the darkness into the marvelous light. He said, I see y'all coming out. So whatever they got to do to me, I'm going to let them do it to me. Because I don't want it to happen to you. That's real love. That Jesus looked at us who were walking away from him. The Bible says while we were yet sinners, Christ still surrendered himself on behalf of the ungodly. Those who were living without God. He died so that we could have access to God. For no man, hallelujah, can come to me except the Father which sent me, draw him. And he says, I'm the only way you can get back to him. You see how God and the Son is working together? He said, I got to come through Christ to get to God. And God says, you got to believe in Christ, hallelujah, to get back home to me. And so today, we thank God that the gospel here has been being lifted up. Right here in the midst of God's children who he loves. I want y'all to know who are in his place right here in this encampment. You're not what you're going through. This is not who you are. It's a chapter in your story, but this ain't who you are. This might be where you are, but I'm telling you who you are is found in the word of God. He said, you are my son. You are my daughter. You are my beloved who I've given my life for. You matter to God. He says, tell Pharaoh... I'm coming down to set my people free. But he always sends a people on his behalf. I want you to hear this word today. God says that I know the thoughts that I have for you. The enemy has thoughts, he has plans, he has schemes, he has tactics, he has strategies, he has weapons that he's forming against us. But God says, I don't care what plans, what thoughts the enemy has. I don't care even how you have cooperated with the enemy to work with his plan because I have a plan, my plan going to prevail. 
God says, I will have my way. And the Bible tells us that God came to set the captives free. Well, that's a great statement. Because a captive is somebody who can't get loose on their own. <laughs> somebody who's shackled down, who's been given a sentence and you can't get out of it. No matter how many tears you cry, no matter what you try to do, but God has to come, this and this, and release you. Well, the gospel comes to give us a word of release. It's a word of freedom. This is what the scripture says. He whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Hallelujah. That freedom first starts on the inside. You might be being set free on the inside, but your circumstances still got you trapped. But I'm telling you, you not your circumstances. Get your eyes off your circumstances and get your eyes on Jesus. Because he says, he whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Before you get free on the outside, you've got to recognize you're already free on the inside. That the glory, the glory of God shows up on the inside and it begins to lose joy in your life when there used to be worry and doubt and fear. It begins to lose peace in your life when you are frustrated and confused. It begins to release hope in your life when you couldn't see your way through the struggles and had a dark cloud over your head. It begins to first work on the inside and then it shows up on the outside. How many people have been carried through some difficulties before? You couldn't see when you were coming out, when you were inside of it. But he said, I don't want you to see when you're coming out. I want you first to take the attitude that you know you're coming out. Remember when they were on the boat and the storm got to raging and the disciples were on the edge thinking that they were about to die? But listen, they had forgotten about the last word that Jesus said. Let me tell you why I'm saying this. When you don't know what to do, when you're in a situation and you don't know what to do next, you just got to go back to what Jesus said to you the last time. The last thing he said is the thing you keep doing when you don't know what to do. And as the storm began to rage, they went down and woke Jesus up. And they say, Jesus, you don't care? We about to perish. But they forgot Jesus had already said, let us go to the other side. Whenever Jesus makes a statement, he's not hopeful. It's a statement of certainty. He say, we going. That's why I'm finna go to sleep because I got work to do when I get over there. I'm finna go lay down. He laid down, listen, on his own word. He didn't care what happened in the middle between what he said and where he was, but he knew from what he said it couldn't be nothing other than what he said. Listen to this. The Bible says God watches over his word in order to perform his word in our lives. We can't be shaken by what we're going through. The Bible says he has a kingdom that cannot be shaken. <laughs> Everything around us might be shaken, but God says, I'm not going to even release you to the other side until I see you square your shoulders back. <laughs> right in the midst of the storm because you believe me more than what you see. The Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. I see storms, but I believe victory. <laughs> I see trouble on the horizon, but I see God going to make everything work together for my good. Even the trouble God makes to work for our good when we believe God. And so God says to us today that he wants a people who recognize that not only is he with us, he is for us. Oh, it's one thing to be with some people. I've had some people with me and some drama jumped off and... They was with me, but they ain't do nothing about the drama. You could be with me, but you ain't gonna do nothing. That ain't no help. But God says, not only am I there and ever-present help, but I'm willing and ready to use all of my power on your behalf. Today, we want you to know that you are not forgotten about, but in God's Rolodex and memory, you are known, you are loved, you are cherished, you are prized in his eyes. The Bible says, Zephaniah chapter 3, 17, that the Lord will rejoice over us with singing. That God is happy to have us back in his family. And so today the prayer is that as we get ready to take communion, that there will be a moment that folks remember the covenant promises. Jesus said, as often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Do it in a way that helps you remember me. Right here in this moment, we want to take time to remember Jesus. What did Jesus do for us? First, he lived a perfectly obedient life for us. 
The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. Hallelujah. All of us deserve to die for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. To fall short of the glory of God is not just a churchy term. It means that we were created to reach all the way to God for our hope, our happiness, our identity. But somewhere along the way, we settled for something else. We fell short of reaching all the way for him. Well, Jesus said he came down to undo what we did. The first thing Jesus did was he lived a perfectly obedient life. For he said, I always do what pleases the Father. He wasn't doing that to earn his standing. He was perfect in his sonship. But he was working out a righteousness. He was living out in obedience because he knew we were not going to be perfect. Oh, we have been made in the image of God. We have the righteousness of God on us, but we go up and down. We struggle. We get hot and we get cold. Oh, the goal is to get more and more like Jesus. But Jesus said, I got to do something for you so that there will be no separation. So he first lived for us. And then having, after having lived a perfect life, he went to the cross. And at the cross, he was treated as a guilty man, hung between two thieves. He could have defended himself and said, I'm innocent. But he allowed the charges to be up on him because he says, I'm not just going to live for you, but I'm also willing to die for you because I got to do everything that you owe God. I got to live and die on your behalf. And so communion, it tells us that we remember the finished work of Christ himself. We're going to get communion set here. Brother Santino is right over here. And we're going to offer it to our brothers and sisters. So if there's anyone here, this could be your first time or this could be your hundredth time taking communion. But what we're doing is we're remembering the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. For he offers us a hope that heals the brokenhearted. He offers us a hope that changes the ball game. It gives us a new path on a new destiny. And so today we're going to remember Jesus as we celebrate communion. If I get a couple people to come help Brother Santino, right quick, we're going to just pray. If there's anyone who needs some personal prayer, we are willing and ready to do that as well. But we're going to set the table and offer people a chance to practice what Jesus told us to by remembering his finished work for us. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for this moment to gather our hearts in your presence. You, Lord, are the God who never changes. You, Lord, are the God who keeps your covenant. You are the God who walks with your people. And so as communion is being prepared, the Apostle Paul simply told the statement of what happened in the upper room. He said that on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and juice just as word pictures. There's nothing magical about it. It's just bread and juice, crackers and juice. But the crackers and the juice point to something. They're symbols. So if you're in, in your home today, family, and you hear the voice of Christ calling you, we're calling you to come to the table. We're going to celebrate communion. You're invited to the Lord's table. No church owns this table, but it's the Lord's table. And we set the meal upon the table, which is Christ himself. We invite you to come and partake. Come and rehearse your communion with God through Christ. Come and remember his work that brings us back to God. We who should be separated have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Oh God, we thank you today. Thank you for the food that we've shared. Thank you for the music and the words that have been proclaimed. And now, Father, we turn all of our attention to Jesus. We thank God for Jesus today. I don't know about you, but if I was innocent, <laughs> I would be speaking up if they tried to make me guilty. But he practiced what he preaches. 
He said, he who seeks to save his life will lose it. But he who loses his life for my sake will find it. And so, Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to celebrate communion, to worship you together. That we would gather our hearts in your presence. And we will remember the finished work of Jesus. For it is that work that brings us safely to you. All of our sins have been dealt with. All of the righteousness we need to have access has been provided. And so we thank you today. Oh, we are love. I am love. Oh, hallelujah. Do you hear that today? You are love. You are not forgotten about. But the Lord sees you and sees what you're going through. And he promised he would never leave you. And this is a sign and a symbol of that hope that God walks with his people. He walks with his children. Oh, you and I are loved by God. Now we're going to take it together. I'm going to set the table once everybody has it. If you've taken it already, it's okay. But we'll put the words of institution together. Let me get one, Brother Santino. Thank you, my brother. Oh, hallelujah. We're going to take it together. For those that still have it, hold it in your hand. We're going to celebrate the finished work of Christ. Bless you, my brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, hallelujah. Your love, God. Thank you, my brother. Hallelujah. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread. And he broke it. And he said, blessings to our brothers and sisters from love and action. Thank y'all for sermon. We're taking communion right now. You are definitely invited to join us. But he took the bread and he broke it. And he said, this represents my body, which is to be broken for you. While you have your cracker in your hand, would you go ahead and break it in half? That's your sin, my sin, contributing to the death of Christ. Father, we thank you for the body of Christ, which has been broken for us. Help us to remember his sacrifice in life. He fully surrendered to your will for us. And so, Father, we thank you for the life that he surrendered to you. We give you praise and glory. Family, let us eat together the body of Christ given freely for us. old cracker we just took don't you need some juice to swallow that down <laughs> it's reminded to us that you can't do the work of God in our own strength it's not half him half us it's all him it's his life his death father we lift the glass he took the cup and he blessed it and he told his disciples this is the cup of the new covenant the new arrangement between God and man no longer the law standing between us and God, but now Christ stands between us and God. He said that this was given for the new covenant, written in his blood for the forgiveness of sins of many. He says, drink this in a way that helps you remember me. Lord Jesus, we remember you today. We remember your sacrificial offering of yourself. Your life got cut short. So that we might receive eternal life. Oh, what a trade. <laughs> what a trade. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are willing to be pushed down so that we might be picked up. Thank you for the blood that washes our conscience cleanse. All sins, past, present, and future are under the blood. For you already declared that when you see the blood, the death angel will pass over us. And so, Father, today we drink in confidence for what the blood has accomplished for us. Family, let us drink together the blood of Christ shed freely for the forgiveness of our sins. 
The Apostle Paul closed it by saying, as often as we eat this bread and we drink this cup together, we are re-proclaiming, re-preaching Jesus' saving death until he returns. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for this moment of worship. Thank you for this divine visitation. Thank you that you are the God who starts something but will also finish it. And so, Father, we trust you with our lives. The hills, the valleys, the, you know, we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. We fear no evil, not because we're so strong, but because you are with us. Help us to remember that. Help us to walk by faith with that. We give you praise and we give you glory, God. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say, amen. And thank God. Give the Lord a hand praise. Amen. want to invite Brother Santino up to maybe have a closing word. Amen. Or not sure what the next step is, but let you come and say something as we transition. Thank you guys for coming out. Um, thank you, Pastor Larry Austin, for blessing the mic and blessing everybody here uh, with your talent and your gifts that the Lord has given you. Um, so right now, as we are closing, um, I guess we won't. We have a guest, um, King Lexidus from San Francisco, and um, I don't know much about this brother, but he uh, he's also made some music that I've been listening to, and. Uh, from what I can tell, he's got that zeal for the Lord, and uh, he, I just want to give him the mic and see if he got a word for us, or maybe he can perform one of the songs for, for us today. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. All glory to God, Jesus. Jesus Christ is the answer. Jesus Christ is the only reason why I'm here right now. And I just thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. I thank you for bringing us together, Lord, and letting us come together to glorify your name. And I just pray that your edification touches our hearts, Lord, and that you soften our hearts, Lord, and that you prick our hearts, Lord, with your words, with your truth, Lord, because you are the truth. You are the way and you are the life. And I just thank you, Lord, for everything that you do for me and my family. I thank you for saving me, Lord. I thank you for showing us the way and teaching us the way, Lord, that you are the beginning and the end, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that you touch each and every individual's heart that's here, Lord. Any ears that are listening, Lord, that your word will penetrate to their soul and that they will receive you, Lord, in full. And I just thank you, Lord, for the talents and for the opportunities that you give us to lift up your name, Lord. You are the most high. You are the most high. And I just thank you, Lord, for helping me become a better man. Not for me, but for you. And to be able to be here, to stand here and talk about you, Lord, and, and glorify your name to my brothers and sisters, Lord. And like Proverbs 27, 17 says, iron sharpens iron. And we just thank you, Lord, for everything you do. All the trials and tribulations, all the obstacles that we go through, Father, that you are our strength. All things are possible with the Lord Jesus Christ. And we give everything to you, Lord. We cast all our cares and our burdens to you, Father. We ask you for strength, for direction, for guidance, for your help, Lord. Because when we fall short, that's when you come in, Lord. You come in. You are the strength. You are the firm foundation. You are the reason why we rejoice. You are the reason why we are here. And I just thank you, Lord, for everything you do, everything you have done. You're such a great God. You're such a great God, and I just, I just give you all glory, Lord. I thank you for everything you're doing, for you pulling me out of the pit, Lord. Pulling me out of the pit, Lord. I was a broken, broken man. And without you, Lord, I was nothing. And with you now, I, am, I can call myself a citizen of heaven. And I just pray, Lord, that anybody here that's going through whatever they're going through, if they put their trust in you, Lord, we know that you can change them. We know that you can heal them. 
We know that you can fix them and break the chains off of their life, Lord. Because with you, all things are possible. You've done it for me, Lord, and I know you can do it for them. We just have to fully submit ourselves to you, Lord. As the word says, submit to Jesus and he will give you what you need. He will be that strength in your weakness. He's strong. And I just thank you, Lord. Bless all our families, all our loved ones, all the children that are here. Nobody is more than anybody. We are all the same. We are all children of God. And I just thank you, Father, for this opportunity to lift up your name, Jesus. Jesus, you are the King of all kings. You are the Lord of all lords. You are the doctor of all doctors, the one and only Messiah, Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for everything you do. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. And I want to share a little bit of music with you. Some of my new music that the Lord has put in my heart. You know, uh, I, like I said, I was out there, you know, I was in the streets heavy. I've been through a lot of stuff. And that was the old me. And the, the transformation, you know, he put, he put a, new, a new song in me, he put a new hymn. And uh, it's called The New Me. It's out there um, on all digital platforms. You can find it on YouTube, uh, Pandora, Spotify, iTunes, Shazam, uh, just everywhere, you know, and all glory to God, all glory to God. All our talents, like our, like our brother right here said, all our talents and gifts come from God. And he wants us to use those, he wants us to use those gifts to help other people, encourage other people, edify other people, uplift other people that are going through things that we've been through or worse. But God can fix you if you're willing. God can fix you, he can heal you. He can do what no medicine can do. He can do what no man can do. He can do what no woman can do. He can fix you like he fixed me. Amen, let me tell you, I'm so, I'm so thankful, I'm so grateful, because I was lost. You know, I was out here Drinking, smoking, selling, in and out of jail, went to prison, got shot, you know, and God God took me away from that. You know, I had to go through those things, though, to build me up to be strong enough to get out here to do what he wants me to do. Not what I want to do, but what he wants me to do and be obedient to the Holy Spirit when he talks to me. You know, my cousin is Michelle and Kevin, that's my, that's my family. And we had talked about this sometime last year, you know, while I was going through some other stuff in my life. And now, I would say in the last two, three weeks, God was telling me, the Holy Spirit was telling me, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. And he, it would get louder, it would get louder. It will get louder and louder, louder and louder. It's time, it's time. Don't wait, don't wait. Let's do that. Talk to him, reach out to him. Cause you never know how the Lord is gonna show up. You never know what he's gonna do, but he's gonna show up. See, if you be obedient, that's when you walk in the faith. See, you don't know what's gonna happen, but he knows what's gonna happen, but you gotta walk in that faith and then he'll show you. He'll pull it out, the opportunities, you know, he, he does what he does. And, and I'm just grateful for that. And I want to share some music with you. Uh, one is called The New Me, and the other one is called Got Me Out of Bed. Um, I don't know if we could um, get the music off of, uh, we could run it, uh, could we run it off the phone? Or, okay. We got an option, okay. It's a beautiful thing that we're all out here. God bless everybody, each and every individual out here, brother, sister, children. God is good. 
He's providing food. He's providing us the word, most important. Okay, so yeah, this is called The New Me. This is basically about the transformation after I gave my life to God and the new music that he put in my heart. I pray that you guys enjoy this and that you receive the good that God put in me. He can do it for you. Amen. You can hire it up on the phone. Okay. It's in the building. Hey, and let's stop being a spectator and get in the game. Thank you, Father, for the transformation. Say goodbye to the old me. Say hello to the new me. I thank the Lord truly. Every day what you do for me. Say goodbye to the old me. Say hello to the new me. I thank the Lord truly. Every day what you do for me. Say goodbye to the old me. Say hello to the new me. I thank the Lord truly. Every day what you do for me. Say goodbye to the old me. Say hello to the new me. I thank the Lord truly. Every day what you do for me. I pray to the Lord when I wake up. I thank the Lord when I wake up. Then I work hard. Then I grind hard. Then I shine harder than a Jacob. Keep me focused. Keep me diligent. Make me smarter. Let me represent for the goodness, for the greatness. That devil boy, he gon' hate this. Jesus name, I make. Famous. famous. Now I live my life blameless. Saying it harder than stainless. stainless. Thank you, Lord, for my veinness. I pray to the Lord for maintenance. I'm blessed with transformation. Still got gas like a station. Right around in my station. Thank you, Lord, for the newness. Thank you, Lord, for the trueness. Because the Lord, I do this. Thank you, Lord, for your prudence. Jesus Christ over Judas. There's only one king, only one king, only one king, I do. That's why I move the way I do. Huh? Say goodbye to the old me. Say hello to the new me. I thank the Lord truly. Every day what you do for me. Say goodbye to the old me. Say hello to the new me. I thank the Lord truly. Every day what you do for me. Say goodbye to the old me. Say hello to the new me. I thank the Lord truly. Every day what you do for me. Say goodbye to the old me. Say hello to the new me. I thank the Lord truly. Every day what you do for me. Ever since I got sober, these things I stay running over. This like I'm sliding. And over, Mr. Clean, and yeah, you better move over. 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 You know, your strong like a rover. Fake love, nah, I don't want that. Fake love, nah, I don't want that. So if you got that, you can keep that. I'ma stay in the book and delete that. This thing, nah, you can keep that. Nigga, this, nah, you can keep that. Love so strong, can't defeat that. I'ma fly like an eagle, no black cat. I'm deep in the game, no black cat. Go home, but my God, we don't play that. Put it all on the line, and I lay flat. Then I feel so clean like a Maybach. And I thank you, Lord, for the payback. And I mean it for no harm when I say that. And I mean it for no harm when I say that. Thank you, Lord, for your savior. Got me feeling real good like a mayor. And I thank you, Lord, for your unconditional love. I can never repay you. No. Say goodbye to the old me. Say hello to the new me. I thank the Lord truly. Every day what you do for me. Say goodbye to the old me. Say hello to the new me. I thank the Lord truly. Every day what you do for me. Say goodbye to the old me. Say hello to the new me. I thank the Lord truly. Every day what you do for me. Say goodbye to the old me. Say hello to the new me. I thank the Lord truly. Every day what you do for me. Yeah. Amen. All glory to God. Thank King Jesus. King Jesus. I'm going to do one more for y'all. It's called Got Me Out of Bed. And... It's basically about God, you know. He's the one who wakes us up every day. Every every morning when you get up, give it up to God. Give it up to God. Give it up to Jesus because he's the one who keeps us breathing. He's the reason why we're still here. Everybody done been through some tough situations. Everybody done been through things where you never thought you was going to make it. You know, only you and God know that. You know. But God is good. God is so good. He's so merciful. He keeps his promise.
He never forsakes us. And I and I just I'm just so grateful, man. He he, he blows me away every time I, I think about it, you know? Hey, it says rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. God will put the joy and peace in your heart. He'll put the peace and joy in your heart. Even when we're at our lowest, call on him. Call on him. Call on the name of Jesus. Because there's power in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and drop that, man. Everything close like it's through a people Absorbing energy like a magneto Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil You get my stilo, I'm just trying to do right Trying to uplift my people Trying to fly high like a sea like God got me out of bed, the devil want me dead Trying to play tricks with my head God got me out of bed, the devil want me dead Trying to play tricks with my head God got me out of bed, the devil want me dead Trying to play tricks with my head God got me out of bed The devil want me dead Trying to play tricks with my head King Lexus Everybody stay prayed up God is good Amen Yeah Amen, amen God bless you all, man God bless you all all your families, thank you for the opportunity. It's such an honor and a blessing to be here with the people. All of us, everybody that's here. I love you and God loves you more. Always remember that. Don't never let the lies of the enemy take over what God has for you. Because he'll lie to you. He'll tell you lies. He'll, he'll, make, he'll make you feel like nobody cares about you. Nobody loves you. But God does. God cares about you. He loves you. 
He wants to transform your life. He wants to heal you. He wants to build you. He, if you're broken, that's okay. That's okay. It's okay to be broken because if something's broken, it can be fixed. I'm just saying, give it up to the Lord. Jesus Christ is the Lord. Amen. Thank you, King Lexus. Those words, man, that was, um, man, I don't really know this brother that much, but it reminds me of Galatians 2.20. It says that I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So as he was, as he was uh, rapping, that's, that's basically what I see, Christ in him. Christ in him. So thank you for sharing your, uh, those, uh, those bars, man. Those are dope. Um, so I think we got another brother here. I don't know where he's at. <laughs> Kevin, did you want to do something? Sure. You want to do something? Here, here, let, let's let's have an, let's have an autumn sing uh, sing something real quick. It's a holy God. It's a righteous God. It's a favorite God on him. Good job, baby. You want to do one too? My God is a holy God. My God is a righteous God. My God is a faithful God. He will always count on Him. One, two. Slap, slap. God's good. Slap, slap. Standing all the storms that we face because we pray. Hey, you got to have what it takes to be a Christian. Christian. 
get ready, y'all better pay attention. Keep on the tweet, quick to listen. It's all through the world now, class is in session. Hey, you gon' learn a lesson. Hey, bow down to the king and praise. Bow down to the king and praise. The corruption of this world is nothing but lust. When it comes to self, dark and slut, and sure as luck. There's no way to fix the corruption. But you know how the world is going to lust. Yeah. But the man of sense is given to us. It doesn't make sense when we fight and cuss. I'm happy with the time when you have the true judge. That you became partakers of the vile nation for the fair and true. Fight in your favor. We all fall short with the glory of God. Stuck in the world. Good to help in rock. You want to fight on the cross for a sin to the boss. You don't need magic that leads you down the wrong path. It isn't easy to you try to escape God's wrath. Let go of your pain and just follow God's direction. Because right now, now you're following the own deception. I'm saying this with love and expression. It's coming from the word that is written. Listen. Hey, all right. Yo. Got what it takes to be a Christian. Get ready, yo, better be attention. Be slow to speak and quick to listen. It's all from the word now. You have what it takes to be a Christian. Get ready, y'all better pay attention. Be slow to speak and quick to listen. It's all from the word now. Class is in session. Hey, y'all gonna learn a lesson. Hey, bow down to the king and press. Bow down to the king and pray. So that is uh, that was our song. That was a that was a rough draft, and I, honestly, I forgot my lyrics. It's, it's been a while since I forgot about that song for a second. <laughs> True that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, thank you for uh, coming out, everybody. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys coming out. Thank you for the Bay Area Rescue Mission, Pastor Dave, and everybody who uh, who uh, sacrificed their time to come out here and serve the people. Um, we appreciate you. Thank you for Pastor Larry Austin. Thank you for everybody for Kevin. Um, sample of the other one you want to do one more yo i think he's he's got a he's got a uh you, you, you want to do can i can we do one more okay which one is that one i don't i don't know which one that one toxic instrumental I'm gonna go crazy, I'm gonna stand up here. Calvin, you're crazy. crazy. Calvin, Calvin. No? <laughs> Which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? Um, by the way. Huh? <laughs> like Santino said, I want to just thank everybody that came out. Um, you know, this was just as much uh, as a uh, fellowship as it was an outreach. And so we got to come together as believers and, and, and hear our brother in the joy of the Lord. And we got to uh, uh, fulfill the first commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might, with all your strength, and with all your mind. Uh, it, actually, it actually says, for you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength and this is the first commandment but it's impossible to do unless we've first been loved by him we have to have a heart that's been changed and been turned out by god and so when we all come together like this in, in fellowship so you know we sometimes we think well we look at how many people showed up or or things like that but god has as many people that were supposed to be here are here this is much just as much as an outreach to other people was for us to go outside the camp together and fulfill a ship 
and, 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 and proclaim the love of Christ together and, and, and experience the love of Christ together as a, as a body. And so I just want to thank the Lord that he provided this place for us, provided this platform, uh, brought Pastor Larry with a wonderful message, heartfelt message, uh, straight from the Spirit of God, straight from the Word of God. And we only have one source of truth, and that's, that's the Word of God. And, and so if it's just us speaking, then we're just speaking into the air. But when we're speaking the Word of God, we're speaking words that are eternal, that will last forever. And we want to speak that as we love people and feed them and give them a meal, but we want to love them with the Word of God, and we want to speak the Word of God into their life. And so today we just want to say thanks to everybody for trusting in the Word, the word of the Lord and stepping in the Word of the Lord and coming out here and, and just fellowshipping with one another and making connections that we promise that will last us till, till we see the Savior. So uh, thank you, everybody, everybody that was involved. I just had a wonderful time really fellowshipping with everybody and being a part of this with everybody and everybody sacrificing their time to come out to be here with us and so uh, and to have communion with us and just to be here and, and just love on one another and then love the Lord our God with all our heart, you know, with all our, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. And we're only doing it because he first loved us. Father, we want to lift you up today, Father. We want to just exalt your name. We know that... Uh, uh, Jesus is right now sitting at the, 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 the right hand of the Father. And he says, those who confess my name before men, I will confess their name before the Father. And today he is confessing us before the Father. They're standing today, and I believe they're, they're pleased. They're satisfied with our sacrifice of praise and our sacrifice of worship and the sacrifice of our, our, our living sacrifices that we did today. So we just pray that he, he's honored in all that we did and every conversation that we had. We know that he was honored in, in, in the words that were speaking through the music and, and the word of God that, that uh, Pastor Larry brought today, Father. So we just want to thank you, Lord, and give us all a safe ride home. And uh, let us all just be filled with your spirit for the rest of the day and as we go about our day. And let us not, not stop speaking about it. Don't let it just stop. Let this be the fire that started for, or that just fires up the rest of our conversations for the day to bring people the word of God, to bring revelation. You know, one of the uh, verses that I've been meditating on is where there is no revelation, people cast off restraint. But blessed and happy is he who keeps the law. And so Lord, we just want to keep your word and do your word and we want to bring revelation. We want to bring the revealed word of God. We want to bring people's consciences and heart back to you. Because we know that that's where they want to push it out of the schools. They want to push it out of the, the, the you know, the, the, the public spheres. They want to push the word of God out. And that's our job is to bring revelation and to push back the darkness and bring the light. So, Father, thank you for doing that work in our heart and giving us the desire to do that. And just bless everyone and thank you, Lord, for what you've done today and what you will continue to do through what happened today for the rest of our lives. We ask this in your son's presence and we pray. Amen.